Yeah, Katrin, I thought one of the first ones we should start with is what's known as land advection fog formation. It is a mouthful, but simply put, it's when you get advection fog forming over land, because we will talk about different types. I'm going to step out as usual. Let's first talk about the setup. Strong breezy moving over cooler ground. That's where you get those breezy conditions. Say, for example, a coal front comes rolling in. That cooler air moves along the surface in the wind flow. Now the moist air, a warmer, moist air mass moves over the cooler surface. That's represented there by the green. That's the moisture we have all the time here in western Colorado that shoots over the monument to the other edges and up by the edges of the Grand Mesa, missing us sometimes completely. So you have an idea of what we're talking about. Now, the cooling effect. The warm air mass gets cooled by the ground below it. The air cools, becoming saturated with that moisture because as it flows over us, it begins to cool and pull that moisture down to the surface. As it pulls that moisture down to the surface, it raises the dew point and that saturates the air mass. Fancy way of saying the dew point and the temp match and that is when you get the saturation of air leading to fog formation. So now you know what land advection fog formation is.